deep. And this is why my wife won't help me split wood. Hello firewood friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be using the East Made Ultra and we're going to be splitting up some nasty, twisted, naughty hickory. Now we're going to put the Ultra to the test, see how it does. The real reason I wanted this Ultra was to do this kind of stuff, um, the single way stuff that you just have to split, just keep whittling it down with a single way wedge. So I'm going to get this hooked to the tractor, I'm going to pull it outside and I think I'm just going to split into the tractor bucket and then I'll dump it and I'll stack it later. But anyways, let's get to it right now. I've got a pile of little crooked stuff here that we're gonna split up and it's naughty, it's crooked, it's got branches off of it. And we're gonna use the East Made Ultra with the single way wedge to split it up. And it's gonna go right into the Express Steel 72 inch bucket on my Coyote tractor and then I will dump it. So real quick, before we start splitting, I'm gonna go over a few features on this Ultra since I didn't touch on it too much last video. And that way you kinda know what you're looking at in case you've never seen one before. But if you have seen Chris in the wood yard or Mountaintop Outdoors, they have one. They're not super common, but they are common, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over a few features with it. So currently the splitter just has the single way wedge on it. It pins underneath and you can lift it out the top. I'll show you the, how it pins. It's got the pin set up right there. I also have the four way wedge for it right there. In the front, there's a coupler there. That's where you primarily tow it with the jack. And then there's also a tow spot on the back so you can move the tongue, the removable tongue that's over there, over to the back. And you can tow it from the back too if you wanted to keep working away from the wood. It just has a 14 horsepower, Vanguard engine on it, pull start, easy, simple. I believe this is a 14 ton splitter and it has a four and a half second cycle timer, or something like that, it's pretty quick. It does not have auto cycle, it does not have a log lift, it does not have a hydraulic wedge, it's simple. Now I have a feeling I might've lost you there when I said 14 ton. Yes, this is a 14 ton splitter. There's a lot of people I feel like that when they step up to a splitter like this, they say, well, I don't want this, it's only 14 ton. I have a 37 ton Husky and it'll split anything. I can assure you this 14 ton will split with a single way wedge, will split anything you put through it. I I don't think I'm gonna find a piece that won't split through it. In my opinion, the difference in a commercial log splitter like an Easton Mate or a Wolf Ridge is they calculate real hydraulic tonnage, cylinder tonnage, rather than giving you a number that it could hit, but it's probably not going to. The 37 tons out of a, a Husky or a Brute in real world, it's probably never going to be able to actually hit that. Maybe there's some speculation that it could at some point during the splitting process. That's the peak, but it's it's never actually going to hit that, in my opinion. So this 14 ton, don't be intimidated with, oh, it's only 14 ton. Will it split my stuff? Yeah, with a single way wedge, I'm very confident it will split. Because that goes back to my other tonnage rant here is my 1222 log splitter here. I believe this is a 22 ton log splitter and there is nothing that I've ever gotten stuck on that with a single way wedge. I put the nastiest stuff up on there. It's never gotten stuck. I've split nasty stuff through a four way wedge. It's never gotten stuck. The difference is these real manufacturers, Wolf Ridge, Easton Made, they don't lie about their tonnages. Um, they give you a real number and sometimes it seems low, but that's really all you need. You don't need a ton of splitting force to split wood. So anyways, you're going to see that today because we've got some nasty stuff. Enough of me rambling. I'm going to fire this guy up and we're going to run it right now. All right, guys, we got it idled up and we're going to start splitting. with this single wedge to just depict your wood, slide it back. It's a lot like the Eastamade axis, except you're working in a horizontal fashion rather than a vertical. And yes, I know the axis is based off the Ultra as far as the beam and the design. But see, this wood is real twisted. It's not gonna go through, that's okay. Now, yes, this does not have a log lift, so 
it is heavy lifting the stuff up, but I mean, if you quarter it down with your chainsaw or if you put the stuff in your tractor bucket and hold it next to the sweater, it's really not too bad. Also love about the single way wedge is that it's so minimal on trash compared to a multi wedge or a box wedge. Which yes, it's not as fast, but it's trade off for everything. But when you're splitting nasty wood, you can't you can't uh, run a multi wedge anyways. We are splitting shag bar kickery today. piece up here now. We'll see how it does. No problem. Now you can see knots in this one. single wedge on the 1222 and run this stuff through it. Well guys, like I said in the last video, the 1222 is not as easy to re-split stuff because it's got so much going on. It's bigger. This you can really get over the top of the wood and it's, it's like no other splitter I've ever seen as far as the table and how you can get on top of it. Thank you. 
time my wife won't help me split wood. I think I might have found one I want to split. But if you look at that, I can't say I'm totally surprised. That is. That's some nasty stuff. So I just finished splitting. I got about a third of a cord done. Two, about two full buckets. The other one was a little bit more full than this one. Um, but two of these buckets loose thrown in is the third of a cord. And as you can see, I got some nice looking wood here. I was able to depict some wood off of the nasty crotchy pieces. As you can see, this piece here is more crotchy. It's got some knots in it, pretty nasty. So it turned out really nice. I'm very happy with the pieces I got out of it. And it, this splitter is just, it's ideal for just re-splitting stuff. Um, 
using the single way wedge and knifing it down and i'm using this in this aspect now as far as uh splitting nasties but if you put the four-way on here and you have nice firewood poles it it'll really crank out some wood too but like i said before i absolutely love this splitter with the completely fat table you saw how i was splitting it pulling it back and just whittling it off um, working around the knots making nice pieces out of it i'm not gonna lie there was a few pieces that i wish i had the log lift for on my 1222 because some of them were heavy but you know if this is what you're working with you can always either axe them down cut them in half with the chainsaw most generally i will probably put my conveyor on the end of this and take the firewood bucket fill it full of rounds and then hold it right next to it and then i don't have to pick them up off the ground so yes this doesn't have some of the creature comforts but most people that split wood um, if you're splitting big wood you probably have a tractor or a way to handle it that's how you got the big wood um or you have something and you know there's there's a lot of different ways to do it but i was just showing you how i did it today and again i'm very pleased with this splitter so that will do it for this video thanks for watching thanks for subscribing let me know in the comments what you think about this splitter have a good one